You're watching DVTV, North Texas's leading source for online LGBT video. Hey, this is John Wright with Dallas Voice and DVTV. We're here today at Dallas Market Center with legendary political activist and actor Martin Sheen, who will be keynote speaker at this year's Black Tie Dinner on November 17th at the Adams Mark. Sheen is the nation's acting president, if you will, for his role on West Wing. And he's in town today to promote Jackson Clay USA. That's a clothing line that was launched by his former daughter-in-law. That's Charlie's ex-wife. We sat down with Martin to talk about politics, gay rights, and more. I'd like to focus on Black Tie Dinner. What are your thoughts on being invited to be the keynote speaker at 2007 Black Tie Dinner in Dallas, which is the largest fundraiser of its kind? In I hear you. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I'm just thrilled that they asked me. And uh, my friend Sharon Stone was a huge hit over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, very supportive, and so uh, I'm delighted to follow her. That's a hard act to follow. Right. Yeah, now you're a hardcore liberal. I mean, that's probably an understatement. You've been no, arrested some that. seventy I'm, times. I'm worse than that. I'm a Catholic. <laughs> right. I'm a Catholic <laughs> liberal. <laughs> hey, yeah, they, this, these log cabin Republicans—they've been pushing for the speaker to become less liberal. Have you gotten any warnings about maybe toning down your rhetoric or all my holding life. back at all? All my life. Do you plan to hold back at all? No. I think, what the hell? I'm too damn old. I'm too, I'm, I, you know, I'm not intimidated by. I, I'm first of all, I'm not enamored of politics. I don't really give a damn about politics or politicians per se. Mm -hmm. There are certain public servants that I support. Here we are, all these years later, and we as a society are still discussing hate crimes uh, legislation. Mm -hmm. We're still discussing uh, mm -hmm. the Employment Non Discrimination Act, and of course, we're still discussing gay marriage. What's wrong? Has, have we, as a movement, been too passive? Do we need to to uh, to get out there in their faces and get arrested like you've done so many times to get out there on the streets rather than sending out fundraising letters? What's wrong with the gay rights movement? Why has it taken so long? I don't know that there's anything wrong with it per se, and I don't know if it's necessary to get in straight people's face from. From my point of view, I think you just have to be yourself. I had a brother, a, a gay a brother, who was in a relationship longer than any one married couple we knew, mm -hmm. and, and, and died. You know, my brother Al, he and Pete were uh, together for uh, almost 30 years, you know, and the last words that my brother said as he was dying was he looked at Pete and said, I love you. You mentioned your uh, dislike of politics, but really, you're the closest thing we've had to a Democratic president in the last <laughs> seven or eight years. What's that tell you about the country? Oy. Right. Mm. But what do you think about the, uh, the 2008 Democratic candidate's reluctance or refusal to come out in support of gay marriage, with the exception of Ah, there are Kucinich. a bunch of, oh, uh, Dennis I mean, does this another party, Buckeye. Do these guys, or do, does, does this party in general need to Most of the Democrats. I mean, I love them. I'm an endless, you know, radical Democrat, of course, liberal, whatever. I go way back, and you know, I, but I mean, I think most of them are a bunch of sissies. I mean, I, you know, part they of are, they're afraid. A damn bunch they're of really sissies. Afraid to speak Get up the and truth. tell the truth. And Stop this horse shit, you know. Okay, but I think, but I really think that you know that's what is really needed. I mean, I love the Democrats, but they're such a bunch of sissies. Just get up and tell these bastards have been running the country into the ground. They've been serving the rich. They've been a damn bunch of lying bastards from the beginning. Why don't we put a name on it? You know, you know, everyone's always say, well, George Bush, what is he? He's a damn liar. I'm sorry, I didn't invent the term. You either tell the truth or you don't. If you don't tell the truth, what do we call you? Well, he's maybe less than honest. Horseshit. He's a damn liar. And the country has been driven into the ground economically. It's been driven into the ground with any sense of, of, of hopelessness for these kids. You know, and, and he continues this, you know, uh, this war, why did he start it? Because of his goddamn ego. He wanted to hand Saddam Hussein's head to his father and say, see, Pop, I'm something. You're shit. I'm sorry. But nearly 4,000 kids are dead because you wanted to hand that man's head to your father. That's what it's about. Do you think we'll ever have a gay president? And if so, I, I doubt it would know it. You know what I mean? Leave it up to Larry Craig. We'd never know it. 
Uh, that's that's my p- whole point. Who gives a damn? You know, just an honest man, an honest woman. That's fine. You know, I think you just have to keep living your life honestly and lovingly, and just keep being who you are and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth all the time by your lives. And that is your message. It's not about trying to please the non-gay community or trying to appease anyone. It's about living an honest life. This has been John Wright with Dallas Voice and DVTV. Send us an email at dvtv at dallasvoice.com or log on to our website, www.dallasvoice.com. Have a great day.